A meteor! The trajectory! A collision! Calm down, Huddleston. What are you talking about? The meteor is on a collision course with Earth! <laughs> ah! Unbelievable! You're right! Where is it going to fall, Forsyth? It will enter the atmosphere in six weeks and fall here, in Kyoto, in Japan. We need to inform the authorities immediately. The authorities already know everything, Dr. Forsythe. Government agents. Every observatory in the country is being closely watched. Now, if you will please follow me, the United States government has a mission for you. My friend Nicholas sent you. It's an invitation to a private meeting in Washington about an unprecedented scientific discovery. I'm afraid nothing more can be revealed. Everything is a secret for you Secret Service agents. We fear sabotage, Monsieur Lucas. No one must know about your trip until you arrive. It's for your own safety. Keeping it a secret will be no problem at all. Oh. <laughs> Not even for them. This is my daughter, Amelie, our young apprentice, Jules Verne, and Monsieur Delanui, our accountant. Exactly, the accountant. And according to my calculations, this trip is going to cost us everything. Down to the last penny. We'll have to sell the silver, the books, the paintings, even the doorknobs. You don't really intend on taking them with you, do you? If you think you can convince them otherwise, please do. Well, you see, Monsieur Lucas, Luckily, I've already packed everyone's bags. Is she coming too? Oh, you little rascals! So that's where you were hiding. Oh, yes. And the two of them too. Uh, oh. uh. What a strange hat. I can't imagine anyone having the nerve to wear it. Oh, you can't, can you? Just wait till you see the rest of the outfit. Why did you pack that? We could be invited to a reception in Washington. And a real lady must be elegantly dressed for every occasion. But I have lots of outfits that are much more suitable. You mean like the one you're wearing now? Or the one you were wearing yesterday? This will be an unforgettable trip. Because it will be the last trip, Monsieur Lucas. Don't worry. We'll take a small and cheap ship to be inconspicuous. Just how small exactly? You see, it's not that small after all. Uh, maybe just a little. Monsieur Lucas, welcome. Thank you, Dr. Nichols. I am curious to find out more about this event I've been invited to. Forgive the secrecy. Everything will be revealed tonight. A meteor is about to hit Kyoto? But 
But this is so frightening. It will be a disaster. It will, if we don't stop it. That's why you are here. To help test the most extraordinary invention of the century and write about it in your magazine. Gentlemen, I show you the magnetic cannon. This special disc is a very powerful nanomagnet. Thanks to the refraction of the cathode ray tubes, the cannon will emit a powerful, coherent ray of light that will deviate the meteor's trajectory. By how much? Enough to make it hit a deserted area in Alaska. We can proceed with the experiment then. Are you ready, Dr. Zertel? Ready, Dr. Nichols. Five. Now I understand all this secrecy. Four. There is no room for error, Artemis. Three. It is expected to strike in ten Seven. hours, and the lives of thousands of Japanese citizens are in our hands. Gentlemen, colleagues, the meteor has changed its course. It will be falling in Alaska. Yeah! Yes, Japan is safe. Excellent work. We need to celebrate. All we need is something to nibble on. I could go to the kitchen and whip something up. It looks like there will be a reception after all. Quickly, go and change, Amelie. What do you think? Scientists know how to have fun too, right, Jules? <laughs> I should have never listened to Esther. I look ridiculous. No, it's just such an original outfit. It's horrible. I knew it. Come along, Amelie. Huh? You weren't planning on leaving so soon, were you? <laughs> Save me. in this dress is a nightmare. moments to intervene, kid. It's been destroyed! I need to stop Zertle! Activated the ray of light and destroyed the magnet. What have you done? He changed the trajectory of the meteor again. We weren't able to stop him. Huh? Blasted crater. Your dress! Look what you've done to it! You know, Esther, fashion changes so quickly. 
Who do you work for? You're the one who knows everything, Nichols. Who else could have found a way to get his hands on a solid gold <gasps> meteor? A gold meteor? Captain Nemo. The second ray of light has been spotted, Captain Nemo. Excellent. Set the coordinates. Full speed ahead. Route set for the point of contact. Captain Nemo. That's who wants to take control of the meteor. Its nucleus is entirely made of gold, and its worth is incalculable. Oh, no. It is calculable. Uh, I'll just work some figures and let you know. Zirdel directed the meteor towards Greenland. It will fall off the coast to the bottom of the sea, where only the Nautilus can get to it. How did Nemo find out about the meteor? He's running a small but powerful operation. Scientists, industrialists, criminals. Nemo has accomplices and supporters everywhere. I have no difficulty believing that. He's always had charisma. I'll never forget those days at the university. For him, nothing was impossible. He was smart, brilliant. I had never met anyone who could dream so big before. And I wasn't the only one. Elizabeth was a brilliant music student, the daughter of Count de Vaux, the president of the Bank of Paris. She was good in all subjects, but uniquely talented in music. Dakar was immediately won over by her. Elizabeth knew how to work her way into the most secret parts of his soul. Captain Nemo has a heart somewhere, then. Maybe, but nothing can stop him from laying his hands on that gold. And now the cannon has been destroyed, there's only one way to stop him. We'll never reach Greenland before the Nautilus does. You're too optimistic, Artemis. That's how Nemo carries out the impossible, by believing that nothing is impossible. Speaking about the impossible, this coat is so uncomfortable that I wish I had my dress back. At least we're not cold. Right, Hatteras? Two minutes to go until impact, Captain. It is expected to fall 200 meters south-southwest in the sea. Going at full speed, sir. We're still too far, Captain. If the meteor hits now, the Nautilus will have time to get to it and disappear. Look! It's the sky! Drat. Objective in sight, Captain. Prepare for rapid immersion as soon as it touches the water. Where did the meteorite go? I don't understand, Captain. The calculations were correct, but... Did I hear a... Uh, but! Huh? The meteorite... 
get stuck in the iceberg. This is what I call luck. A moving iceberg has intercepted the meteor. It's now out of the Nautilus's reach. So, is everything okay then? Not yet, Amelie. Nemo is up to something. Mecha drill activated and ready. Rapid submersion. Veer towards the iceberg. Inclination, three degrees. This is a warning. No more errors will be tolerated. I knew it! The Nautilus is drilling a hole in the iceberg. It won't take him long to get it from underneath. And we, we will take it from above. If we can manage to lift it into the air, Nemo won't be able to get to it. Precisely, Jules. We just need something to make it fly. Follow me. <laughs> These balloons are detectors. We'll use the cables to lower ourselves down the canal created by the meteor, and then all we need are two balloons to lift it up. But how are we going to inflate the balloons? We'll inflate them with this gas. It's experimental and very powerful. It's a perfect plan. All we have to do is get there. Am I mistaken, or did someone forget to mention that this gas weighs a ton? Tell me about it. Come on, hurry up! Uh, uh, the only thing that would make me go faster is if I were being pulled by a pack of dogs! Uh, 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 oh no! Jules? Uh, 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 Excellent work. But you better curb some of this enthusiasm, or you'll wind up with no energy left. Okay, let's go. Increase speed. We're already at full speed, Captain. My orders are never questioned, sailor. Never. This is full speed. to get us. <gasps> They've been found out. We need to do something. We need to wait and keep hidden. 
As long as the Nautilus is submerged, we have no chance at beating it. You'll see, Hatteras. They'll make it out of there. Why doesn't the government buy the same equipment they have? Hand me the backpack with the gas. Hurry! I'll try and slow them down. You get to the crater. Fire! After him! We need to hurry. Ha! Did it! Oh no! Watch out! It's all up to you and Jules now. You're not really thinking of climbing down there without me, are you? Let's see who gets there first. Oh no, please. Ladies first. Incredible! We need to hurry! We're almost there. Uh. Huh? We can't wait any longer. We have to leave with the meteorite now! How? Captain, the meteorite is moving. Rapid immersion. Prepare to fire. He's trying to make it fall into the sea! But the cavalry has arrived! It's our turn, Mr. Lucas! Men, take up your positions! Fire at will! We've been hit! What do we do? Shall we fire back, Captain? Direct all energy into the Electro Claw! to jump! Now! Uh, 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 Jules! Oh, no. Cease fire! The meteor is ours. Rapid submersion. We need to move to plan B. We need to destroy the gold before it's too late. But we can't. Jules is up there. Just a bit more. Ah! He's freed himself. Fire away! No! Take the Nautilus down to the depths. Route one, nine, five. We're heading out. That's how Nemo was able to get away. But in that moment, the most important thing was getting to Jules and Amelie. They were welcomed like heroes, as they truly deserved to be. And that's pretty much the whole story. So, so, the golden meteorite blew up into a thousand pieces? This is all there is left. But, but... Shh, talk softly. It could blow away. <sighs> I'll stay here with you, and I'll read you the story I wrote about this whole adventure. It's called The Meteor Hunt. I bet you can't wait to hear how it ends. <laughs>